Okay, so it's just before 6 a.m. I'm eating an espresso cookie and hiking through the foggy, ah, kind of misty rain. This morning, my um, new friend Sersha also left at the same time, so he's just ahead, which is cool. Not totally alone in this night hiking moment that I'm having this morning. So, yeah, more of when you can see. Wow, first signs of sunrise. Ooh, so pretty. birds this morning. At least their songs. Wow, look at that fog in the valley. Those clouds. So beautiful. Good morning. I'm still heading down into Newfound Gap um, from my spot at Mount Collins shelter last night. It's been a really nice, pretty relaxing morning, mostly downhill, which is unique for the Smokies so far. <laughs> we've, we've had a little bit of uphill bursts, but way less than the past couple days. Uh, yesterday was such a hard day. Um, and there's lots of climbing my longest day. I did 25 miles at least um, from uh, Molly's Ridge Shelter to Mount Collins Shelter. So I passed the 200 mile mark and which is on top of Clingman Stone. So I got to see the top of that. So anyways, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go watch that because that was pretty incredible. Um, and today, Oof, I'm either doing 25 or 28. <laughs> um, I think there was like 41, 40, around 40 miles total to get from uh, Mount Collins Shelter where I was to Standing Bear Hostel. And Standing Bear Hostel is where my friend Kendra is gonna pick me up um, tomorrow. <laughs> So I don't want to do 20 miles tomorrow because I want her to be able to pick me up early because I'm going to zero. So I'm going to take the rest of tomorrow off and then the next day and a full zero the next day. And so anyways, that means I need to have a bigger than 20 mile, you know, like 25 is ideal. That would leave me around 15. But if I can get closer to 28, get closer to 10 the next day. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm, I'm moving slowly and I'm not I'm never too rushed about these things unless I'm just feel super energized. But mostly I just chug along <laughs> and I'll see how I feel at the shelter that's 21 miles away and then how I feel at the 25 miles away and what time it is and stuff. Oh, the other thing that happened yesterday is I think I got a trail name. So I used to be uh, on the PCT, I was Heidi, Child of the Mountains. And that was from a couple European guys who that fairy tale is more popular like in Europe. But um, basically it's like this girl who lives in the Swiss Alps and absolutely loves the mountains and she belongs in them and she hears them singing. And <laughs> um, so I like totally loved having the trail name Heidi, but it is a normal name. So it does take a little bit of explaining. And I don't know, I just have always kind of like wanted a new trail name. So 
I've been, I haven't told, really talked about Heidi um, to anyone out here because then it's like, I just want people to start fresh, I guess, with like what I could be. And I think I got one that I'm liking and I'll talk about it later. But I just want to think it over more before I decide like, yeah, this is the one I want to stick with. So I also do like going by Stella. It's just, I don't know, it's my name. So who knows? Okay, uh, more later. Okay, just getting in a newfound gap. that there's a bathroom. Okay, heading back to the trail. Or continuing on the trail, I guess. Wow, look at these sun rays on the mist and fog. My goodness. Headed over to Charlie's Bunyan. It's like a little off trail. I think I'm in my most favorite section so far. It's not so beautiful today. Awesome. Do you want to? Charlie's Bunyan, you were beautiful. I'm so glad I did that. Now I'm just having my sandwich for the day and I'm walking. It's a little after nine. Don't know how many miles I've gone. Maybe around nine <laughs> or eight. <sighs> it feels so good. Mm. Aren't ending today. It's amazing. Wow. Whew. Whew, so beautiful. Oh, that sun. Warming me up, I need to take off this jacket. But the wind is still a little chilly. And I'm gonna take a sit down break here in the next like 15 minutes atop of, I think it's called Laurel Top. Um, I should be less than a mile away. Um, so I'll take off my jacket then. Okay, so I guess this is Laurel Top. It was, it's just forest covered peak and not really a place to stop and sit or anything. So, 
Okay, I officially took one of my longest breaks. Uh, it's like 45 minutes. Just laid here on this rock. It was so glorious and I feel tired, but also just like content and uh, like I just wanted a bit of time to lounge and rest. So I'm gonna keep going. Shag green carpet all over the place. That was a little un unexpected. Bit of snow there. It started raining a little bit ago, um, but stopped pretty quickly, so that's nice. I'm climbing, trying to get moving so that way I can make it not to this coming shelter, which would put me there around three o'clock, but to the next one, which is like a little over seven and a half miles away after I get to this next shelter. So, that'll be another three hours of hiking, which could put me right around sunset, so that would be great. But, gotta get up a couple climbs, and it's a good amount of downhill. Okay, just made it to Tricorn Shelter, and I'm gonna go 7.7 .7 more to Crosby Shelter, and it is 2.53. Yeah, so part of the mileage update is that I've gone over 21 miles today, so by 3 p.m., which is awesome. I will say it was much easier than yesterday. A lot more just like smooth ridges and descents rather than really intense ups, which is what yesterday was, getting all the way to Klingman's Dome. Whew, so, <sighs> yeah. My friend, I thought he was gonna stop at try knob shelter, but I think he's pressing on too. He stopped there to get water. We haven't, he's been leaving me in the dust all day. I haven't seen him since we were at uh, the Bunyan together, Charlie's Bunyan. So, um, yeah, so I'm excited that I have a pal to join me at the shelter coming up. And that really, really most likely we'll be able to make it before the sun sets. So, yeah, thanks for coming along today. Keep the updates coming. Okay, so it's just about five o'clock. I still have three miles to go. My feet are pretty sore feeling, so, and this, the last few miles are like very much downhill. And so that's nice for my lungs, but also hard on the feet a little. So it's been kind of slow going, but um, a couple interesting things that happened in the last hour or so is, um, I met my first Appalachian Trail Ridge Runner, 
uh, named Chris. He said that he um, has seen some of my YouTube videos and he thought I might be in the Smokies and so it was cool getting to chat with him. Um, here's a screenshot of us <laughs> or a picture. Um, and then a little while after that, I was just walking down the trail and then I saw someone coming up the side of the mountain um, off trail. And he told me that he was checking out the site of this old plane crash that happened in 1984. Um, and you could still see bits of the plane um, where it like crashed right there. And so he pointed some of that out to me, which was really interesting. And then we chatted for a bit. Um, so yeah, it's like kind of unexpected. Um, and whew, yeah, it's just nice cruisy downhill. Hopefully my feet need like a really good massage. <laughs> I can feel them being all like tight in the middle. Um, just needing to be stretched out and rested. So I just have like a little over an hour to work <laughs> and then I'm gonna make some ramen and maybe a sandwich. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, that's the update for now. Okay, finally made it to the turnoff. It's before six. The shelter's this way. Whew, I am so glad I made it. Um, I'm going to make dinner now. There are a couple people in the privy like sleeping. I mean, not in the privy, <laughs> in the shelter. I just used the privy. <laughs> there are a couple people in the shelter sleeping, so. I really hope Sierra gets here soon. It was a long day for both of us, so we'll see. So it's the next day. I just wanted to wrap up this video and say that my goodness, it was a beautiful day. I loved all the ridge walking and that it was sunny most of the day. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but coming out of Newfound Gap, there were like a couple people um, that recognized me from YouTube that were day hiking and like doing a short section. Uh, this woman named Kim, and then this uh, a couple guys, and one of his one of their names was Mike. Uh, so that was really cool. It was just really encouraging because they said that you know like uh, they watched my videos and they were excited to see me and excited to be out there hiking and and so that was really cool and I just I thought about it a lot and it was just really encouraging because I love yeah I love that about these videos that like they help other people get outside and kind of bring the community together in like a, a unique like YouTube way <laughs> so um but yeah uh I think that's it for today um, and our first day's video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.